this one? If only Pub Set could see me now. I see a treasure chest. But there's something good inside. Oh, I wonder what that is. Should we go find out? Huh. We have the advantage. I said we take you. Like a walk in the park. Wow, oh, nice one. Keep it up.
Should prove useful. Oh, we got 
you now. Yeah. Let's finish this. That one. This is the place. So, this is Akira Konoe's family home? Do you suppose Konoe's father still lives here? Mm -mm, no. He died 20 years ago. What? I found some police records of an incident that happened here back then. A burglar forced his way into the home and stabbed Konoe's father to death. How tragic. Most items of value were gone, so it was ruled as both a robbery and a homicide. They never found the culprit. And, and what did Kanoe do? He lived here too, right? He was eight years old at the time, and was the only survivor. Apparently he managed to hide in a closet. If this is the birthplace of Kanoe's trauma, we'll probably uncover the truth about his father's murder as well. Yes, let's do what we came here to do. Putting the keyword now. Everyone, get ready to enter. This room. Are we inside the house now? Looks like it. Twenty years into the past. 
Whoa, who's that? Is that... Kanoe's father? You little shit. Joke to people. You wanna die? Trust me. I'll be glad to get rid of you. Uh, this guy's sick. He really killed his own wife over some money? Unbelievable. That monster! How could anyone do something so awful, awful? Don't you just die already? Your mother knew when to quit. Why don't you? Watch out! He can still attack while it's moving! Incoming attack! Brace yourself! You'll see you from that movie little face when you're dead! <laughs> Rocket launchers! Oh, shit, these packets are serious heat! That thing's got a ton of firepower! Stay out of the crosshairs! Persona! Ravage them! Oh, nice, Joker! You hit his weakness! That's it, Joker! Persona! Valkyrie! Naga! Neko Shoka! Roger Naga! New York! Never us! You're mine! And I think the Joker got in a follow-up attack! Yeah! Yes! Keep it going!
that one. So this is why Kanoe was trying to become a hero. Because no one was there to save him? That's terrible! knowing we put that ass wipe in his place. Akira Kanoe. <laughs> if what we just saw actually happened in the past... Then Akira Kanoe escaped an abusive childhood and avenged his mother by killing his own father. He must have framed the entire thing as a robbery in order to avoid suspicion. You're saying he's a victim of some high and mighty shitbag too? He must have felt so trapped. There was nobody he could turn to. So he set out to become his own hero, and the power to change hearts helped him do just that. It's just too sad. There had to be another way. There just had to. Hey, cool it. Whatever his past was, it doesn't justify what he's doing now. Nothing makes it okay for him to take control of people against their will. If we don't stop him now, more and more people are gonna get hurt. You're all thinking the same thing, aren't you? My thoughts exactly. Right. If we don't stop him here, then nothing's ever going to change. Let's do everything we can for now. While it's true we need to change Kanoe's heart, let's not forget we also need to save those whose desires he's stolen. And it's time we bust out the calling card. Oh yeah! That's kind of your thing, isn't it? Yeah! We'll change his heart and take back everyone's desires. Okay, let's head back to the car and come up with a plan. So, about the calling card. How exactly do we want to do this? Hmm, we need a place where we know Kanoe will see it. What about sending it to his company? The police will probably be crawling all over the place. It's too dangerous. After all that stuff he said about us on TV, we'd really like to stick it to him good. Give him something he'll remember. We could always try pulling a repeat of Shibuya. Huh? Where'd Gramps go? He said he had something to take care of. He's probably with Akane. Let's just leave them be for now. All right, well, maybe we save the calling card planning for tomorrow then. How come? I mean, you know, cause Zenkichi's part of the team now, isn't he? I feel like he'd be missing out if he wasn't here for his first calling card. Plus, he's kinda got a lot invested in this after everything that happened to Akane. That's true. 
All signs point to Kanoe being the one who turned her into a monarch. Zenkichi's definitely got a bone to pick with him. Alright, we'll wait to bring Zenkichi in on the plan. Alright, we'll figure out the calling card tomorrow. It's been one intense fight after another, so let's get some rest and get back to it bright and early. Hey, is it just me, or has Yusuke not said a word since we got back? <sighs> wow, out cold and still standing. Dude's got all sorts of weird talents. Commissioner Kaburagi? You look better than I thought you would. How'd it feel being on the other side of an interrogation for once? <laughs> I managed to pull through. Guess I'm getting a little old for this, huh? More importantly, though, I heard something interesting from the Nijima lawyer. She told me the reason she was able to get me out was because she had help from a certain someone. I haven't a clue what you're talking about. Anyhow, do you have business with me? Commissioner, I'd like you to help me. I'm going to arrest Awada. He's been behind the scenes with each and every change of heart case. Akira Konoe is the one who commits the crimes, while Awada sits back and capitalizes on them. They plan to cover up the truth by putting all the blame on the Phantom Thieves. I think they've even changed the hearts of some of us on the Force. And I'm talking pretty high up the chain of command. Hmm. If we don't act now, we'll never be able to stop them. Please, Commissioner. I can't do this without you. Do you have any evidence to bring Awada in? I'm on the verge of getting Konoe to confess. If we do that, we can expose all of Awada's crimes. You really think Konoe will talk? He'll crack. I know he will. How can you be so sure? Are you planning to use the Phantom Thieves to change his heart? Sorry, but... I just can't tell you. Commissioner Kaburagi, do you remember what you said to me back when Aoi died? You told me you would cleanse this whole rotten organization someday. And that I just had to wait for the right time. That time is now. Please. I need your help. <laughs> You've changed, Hasegawa. Your little stunt cost me my chance at Senior Commissioner. Even my current title is in a state of uncertainty. I need to do something to restore my credibility. If I wanted to, I could serve all of you up to Awada on a silver platter, and he'd owe me everything for it. Did that ever occur to you? <laughs> Your sense of justice would never allow it. <laughs> my, my. You have three days. If you say you can do it, then by all means, make it happen. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. And... I'll give back your badge as well. Uh, are you sure? Fair warning. If you screw this up, I'll be covering my own safety above all else. No second chances. Do you hear me? I won't forget this, Commissioner. Shall I follow him, ma'am? Forget it. He'll just throw you off. Actually, I have a more pressing task for you. I want you to find out everything you can about the Commissioner General. The... Commissioner General, ma'am? I'm not one to pull punches. Never have been, never will be.
guys were waiting for me to get back. You guys are surprisingly particular, you know? It's the first calling card we're sending out since you joined. Figured you'd want to be there for it. Well, it's not like I haven't helped out with one already. It doesn't seem like that big a deal. That's why we have a little proposal for you. Why don't you write this one, Zinkichi-san? But me? But I've never written one before. Yes. Remember what Kanoe did to Akane. You simply need to express your rage. <sighs> well, it's true. He does have to answer for that. All right, that takes care of the calling card. We just gotta figure out how to send it. Hey, I didn't agree to anything. He's so comfortable badmouthing us on TV. Maybe it's time we gave him a taste of his own medicine. Copy the enemy's strats? <sighs> how about an online broadcast? We need more impact. Could we just hand deliver it, maybe? If we want to get arrested, yeah. What do you think? Mm, I don't know. I'm not sensing a clear winner here. Hey guys, check it out. Is that a blimp? Oh! You don't see them very often nowadays. That's the Reagan Mogan. It's the only airship in Japan that's currently in service. It seems it's being used to advertise Emma for Medis at the moment. For Medis? Apparently, it circles Osaka's airspace every day. Hmm, every day? You thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> Way ahead of you. All right. Yes. Some kind of card? Yeah, like I just bought it over there. Wait, that's huh? Phantom Thieves? Is that actually real? You know, I bet the sales don't oh, oh, we want to check. Oh, 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 wait, we'll trust you. Oh, 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 Testing! One, two, one, two! Okay, looks like we're live. So, I just talked into this. You're on, man! Just say it! Uh, okay. <clears throat> Are you listening, Kunoe? Toying with innocent lives, slandering us. You've been busy, but so have we. Now it's payback time. Ready or not, here we come! To the villain who thinks he's a hero, Akira Kunoe. You stole the desires of countless people. And tonight, we're baking them, uh, I mean, taking them... Oh, you had one line! I meant to say that, baking them, you know, like in an oven. Seriously? It's a threat! The Phantom Thieves? Impossible! To the criminal tyrant masquerading as a hero, Sir Akira Kanoe. All subsequent references will henceforth be shortened to Party A. Party A has wronged multiple innocents by flaunting a false sense of justice and shifting the blame for the murder of one of his employees. On top of that, Party A is also guilty of wrongfully imprisoning a group of minors. Therefore, in addition to putting out a formal warrant of arrest for Party A's crimes, tonight the Phantom Thieves will commit some larceny of their own and take back every desire you've stolen? Is this some kind of joke? Emma, what the hell is going on? I, I thought we trapped them in the jail. Unable to answer. Please ask a different question. D don't give me that, Emma. I'm your master. Now answer me, dammit. Unable to answer. Please ask a different question. Unable to answer. God damn it! You think you can change my heart? Wretched little urchins. I won't be defeated so easily. 
taking back the desires. You think you can steal from me? Fools! I am the very hero these people have been praying for. The Phantom Thieves are the evil that stands in the way of that. Come then, let's see who changes who. <laughs> Vanilla is probably losing it right about now. Dispensing the calling cards from the enemy's own airship. What a truly impeccable strategy. How much you want to bet the police are already all over that thing? Aw, won't it be sad when they find out we were broadcasting from a remote location? Nice job, Monans and Kichi. Sheesh. That was some contraption you put together. You did good too, Sophia. All I did was search the web for a blueprint we could use. Was it okay for us to leave it on the airship, though? Nah, I built it using a bunch of junk parts you can find just about anywhere. We're in the clear. Word has certainly reached Kanoe by now. Yeah, but a calling card. Couldn't have added a little more spice there, Gramps? To the criminal tyrant masquerading as a hero, Sir Akira Konoe. All subsequent references will henceforth be shortened to Party A. Party A has wronged multiple innocents by flaunting a false sense of justice and... Party A? It's an arrest warrant. Is there a problem? It's supposed to be a calling card. What the hell is this Party A crap? Oh, shut up. Real big talk come from the guy who screwed up his line. Look, I told you, I didn't screw up! We're baking them! <laughs> You're right. It's very much Senkichi-san's style. I thought it was different. Fine, whatever. If things go well, hopefully, this will be the last one. The last calling card. Hmm, kinda sad when you think about it. Hey, this fight's just getting started. All right, here we go. Time for the big finish. Is everybody ready? So this is the final battle. Let's change Kanoe's heart and put an end to this. Yeah, let's give it everything we've got. Well then, let's hop to it. Keep you waiting, you goateed prick! We're here to straighten out that crooked heart of yours! So you've come. A warm...
Huh? Let's say you had been around back then. Could you have saved me from my father? I had nowhere to run. I was just a scared, helpless child left to suffer by himself. Well, could you really have saved me? Even now, there are surely others being brought up in the same hell that I was. And yet you've done nothing to help them. Well, that's... You only destroy the evils you just happen to come across. But you'll never save everyone. Me, however. I have the power to change the entire world. No one will ever have to suffer as I did ever again. And to do that, you need something beyond what the Phantom Thieves can offer. You need more than some childish heroic fantasy. But that's not justice. All you're doing is brainwashing everyone. You're taking away their freedom, who they are. And what's the difference? Both of us change the hearts of others against their will. So how am I any different from you? <sighs> Don't you understand? What? For you, changing someone's heart means imprisoning them. But for the Phantom Thieves, it means setting them free. You may steal desires like them, but the Phantom Thieves give people hope. Maybe you don't realize it, but I think, deep down, you know you're nothing like them. Mm. It seems there's little point in discussing this further. If we can't reach an understanding, then only one side can remain. It's time to decide which of us truly walks the path of justice. There aren't any real heroes left. So, why not make our own? The world needs someone willing to fight for its people's justice. A hero to lead them, to unify them. A hero like me! <laughs> Giant robot! 
about to a fight, right? No Surrender, Phantom Babes! Submit to my justice or die! I am the hero in this story! I will create a world without evil! Don't be creating one without evil! Too. Look at me! It's not his determination. Appreciate it. Wicked follow-up, Sophie! Perfect! If you can keep 
You would deny me, Joker? Our definitions of the word are one and the same! Dude, even we don't know what justice really is. And we don't mean to say that what we're doing is always right either. But we're definitely not just gonna sit back while you tell everyone what to do. It's true, there are days when I wish to immerse myself in my work. Days when I'd rather be wandering around town. There are also days when I wish simply to spend time with those close to me. To throw all of that away and do only what the person in front of you says. Why, at that point, you're nothing but a slave to fate. All you're doing is taking away people's rights to choose for themselves and denying them their freedom. When it comes down to it, it's no different from what your father did to you. Trampling upon the one thing that makes us human. That's the very evil you claim to hate. Are you saying I'm the evil one? We choose the roads we take. We don't let anyone tie us down. And we do so because we want to walk our own paths our own way. But if I fall here, then what will become of the world? There are no heroes. I'm the only one who can save it. Are you sure? I've seen the monarchs and the people whose hearts you've changed. They didn't look happy at all. I don't think you saved anyone doing what you did. You know, Kunoe, the world is full of evil, and there's plenty of scum out there who seem well beyond redemption. But there are some, like the Phantom Thieves, who refuse to give up. And there are people out there who, thanks to these guys, finally got the courage to crawl their way out of the darkest depths of hell. People who managed to awaken the hero inside themselves. Isn't that how we'll make this world a better place? <sighs> what you're trying to do will just erase those heroes. Some before they even get their chance. Can anybody really know peace if they're forced to be stuck that way all the time? I'd be erasing the heroes. Kanoe, it's not the people who need saving. If anyone needs it, it's you. Huh? Ever since you killed your father all those years ago, all you've ever done is run away, rotten as he was, having to live with the pain of killing your own flesh and blood, knowing that you could be caught at any moment. You were alone. And getting stronger was the only way you could protect yourself. I... You're right. I... I killed my father. And I lied to escape the punishment. I called it justice, hoping that there'd never come a day when I had to face the truth. But what I did back then was just evil. Then you know what you need to do, Kunoe. The hero you keep inside needs to save you from that evil. The hero I keep inside... I have to save myself. <laughs> I see now. It's been right there with me, all along. Very well. I admit defeat. I'll confess my crimes, and 
accept my punishment. Whatever it may be, I'll destroy Emma as well. You have my word. Phantom Thieves. If it's possible, I only ask that you please prove to the world that I was defeated by the real heroes of this story. Ones with a true sense of justice. Suppose you're right. That's our cue! Let's get out of here, guys! Oh, that was a close one. Oh, but we did it. Now we just have to wait and see. We certainly learned a lot. Emma? Kanoe's big plan? Kanoe said he taught cognitive science to Emma in order to create jails. Shutting down Emma should mean the jails will finally disappear. So our names are probably in the clear too, right? Well, that depends on Kanoe's confession, but I'm thinking it'll probably work out that way. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Nothing. It's just those things you said back there. It was nice to hear you talk about us that way. Agreed. Though, in all honesty, I can't say I thought all of what Kanoe said was wrong. However, your words reminded me of precisely why we do this, Senkichi. That's one of the big reasons why we started the Phantom Thieves in the first place. To give courage to people. Yeah, that speech was top, Senkichi. Gotta give you props for that one. Any more of this, and I'd say you were proud of me. Anyway, we've done what we set out to do. So, in the meantime... Hell yeah! Osaka Feast Round 2 coming at ya! Then let's get our butts in gear! I'm talking deep fried skewers, pork buns, okonomiyaki! Oh man, what else? We've done nothing but eat since we got to Osaka. Eh, you're young. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Today's on me. Get whatever you want. Woohoo! Gramps got a heart of gold! Leave the search to me. I'll find us whatever you guys want. And our tour guide's coming in clutch. Sheesh, don't get too carried away, guys. We've got big changes on the horizon, you know? Osaka has a lot of top-tier sushi vendors, too. Sushi? What are we waiting for? Not so fast. Let us not forget the blowfish and crab hot pots. Hot pot again? Eh, whatever. Still down. Hey, take it easy, you guys. 